look into this stuff yourselves. Can you hear me? Um, but, but Barbara's right. I have been so in love with um, fighting for local education control for the last six years and doing so much research that my family's probably sick of hearing about it. I know my husband is. <laughs> Um, but I just can't stop because I'm just so concerned about uh, the future of education and the future of this country for our children. And um, so I want to start out my talk today by... just America as we know, but it was the American education system and the 
global education system. And uh, this is in cooperation with other world leaders and an elite group of technocratic reformers. So the fourfold strategy goes like this. Get control over what is taught and tested by taking control over educational assessments. Politicize learning by turning assessments into tests of psychological traits. Push states into adopting digital learning policies and expand state longitudinal data systems in order to control how districts implement each of the above. So digital learning, as it's being implemented globally and in America, is harming our children in four distinct ways. It's harming their minds, their spirits, their values, and their agency. I'm going to try to weave these thoughts through my presentation rather than go through them point by point. <clears throat> Anywhere, anytime, online learning is being sold to districts as a solution to help American children compete in the 21st century economy. Dr. Gary Thompson, who some of you are familiar with, he's a Utah child psychologist who's running for uh, Utah State School Board. And he recently posted an AOL article online. And the title of the article was <coughs> Suicide, Now the Leading Cause of Death for Children in Utah. And so Dr. Thompson wrote, over 600 kids from the ages of 10 to 17 killed themselves in Utah last year. I believe we may now lead the nation. Not one member of the current Utah State Board of Education has ever brought up the potential correlations with this rise of suicide to these insane Common Core education reforms, especially our money-driven rush to please technology and computer vendors. That's a pretty powerful statement. How yeah. does that relate to previous years? Good question. I haven't talked to him personally about it. I just saw his post. Um, then he posted this quote from the AOL article. Um, it's been found through research, research that having more than five hours of screen time per day is associated with a much higher risk of depression and suicidality. And this was coming from Andrea Hood, a suicide prevention coordinator with the Utah Department. And so Dr. Thompson in his Facebook post said, thank you, Bill Gates. And I agree with Dr. Thompson. Um, I've, I've spoken with some of Utah's conservative legislators who have passed recent bills supporting the move to digital learning. And for the most part, nobody's really discussing. Yeah, 
is a grand strategy to change how our children think, what they believe, and how they are allowed to live. Recently, one of the co-founders of Return to Parental Rights, which is a group that I helped form, wrote something extremely exciting, insightful that I want to share with you, and it's long, so please forgive me, but it is so worth studying. She's one of the best researchers in the country um, on the education initiatives happening through the UN and being implemented through competency-based digital learning in America. So here goes. I tried to break it up with screenshots, but she said, I don't think most people understand that it's not about education. It's about tracking. There's a lot of money to be made by tracking people. What they think, act, know, and feel. We see Facebook and Google making so much money on this, and they are just a normal part of life now. And then she says, the key is regulating all education, just like food and medicine is regulated. If there's a way to give a set value to all education, it doesn't matter where they learn or who their teacher is. Comprehensive sexuality education, LGBT agendas, environmentalism, globalism is poison to our children. But the tracking and regulating of education is the syringe and needle that delivers the poison. I thought that was so insightful. And I wish every parent could really think through the reality of our situation as we're sending our kids off um, to learn online and as teachers are being turned into facilitators. Um, and we'll get into a little bit of that later. I'm sorry, I thought I had another. buy a politician to influence the way people thought and acted. More recently, you could buy off the media to shape public opinion. The future is paying learning resources to influence. Investors are putting time and money into a gaming system, and that's this lady here. She's a futurist um, talking at a recent education conference about turning education into using gaming for education. Um, so she says, Jenny says, investors are putting time and money into a gaming system that will make learning fun, portable, and stackable. UNESCO has been discussing ways to globalize different levels of education and certification for a while. And she shared a paper with a bunch of us that were doing some research. Um, there's a group called Global Education Futures that's working with um, governments around the world. And they're estimating timelines based on developments that are already occurring in the marketplace and um, global governments. So this move um, to help turn people into currency, basically. And if you look down, if you read their packet on how they're going to change the future of education, I mean, first cut the cover. I don't know if you can see it there, but it almost looked like Dante's in 